Exodus Chapter 13 Dedication of the Firstborn Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Sanctify to me all of the firstborn, whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of animal, it is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of hand Yahweh brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. This day you go forth in the month Ibib. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahweh. Unleavened bread shall be eaten throughout the seven days, and no leavened bread shall be seen with you, neither shall there be yeast seen with you in all your borders. You shall tell your son in that day, saying, It is because of that which Yahweh did for me when I came forth out of Egypt. It shall be for a sign to you on your hand and for a memorial between your eyes that the law of Yahweh may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, Yahweh has brought you out of Egypt. You shall, therefore, keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore to you and to your fathers, and shall give it to you, that you shall set apart to Yahweh all that opens the womb, and every firstborn which you have that comes from an animal. The males shall be Yahweh's. Every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck, and you shall redeem all the firstborn of man among your sons. It shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this that you shall tell him? By strength of hand Yahweh brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. And it happened when Pharaoh would hardly let us go that Yahweh killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of animal. Therefore, I sacrifice to Yahweh all that opens the womb, being males. But all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be for a sign on your hand and for symbols between your eyes. For by strength of hand, Yahweh brought us forth out of Egypt. The Pillars of Cloud and Fire It happened, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God didn't lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But God led the people around by the way of the wilderness, by the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Egypt. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had made the children of Israel swear, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away from here with you. They took their journey from Succoth and encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, that they might go by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day, and the pillar of fire by night, didn't depart from before the people.